Welcome to our Chef at the Market virtual demonstration brought to you by RVI. Each week we will be featuring local chefs who will be sharing recipes using farm fresh products sourced from the RVI online marketplace. For more information or recipes, visit our website. Hi everyone, this is Sharon from Hobby Hill Farm Fresh and I'm here today to make a roasted pepper and goat cheese tart. They're, it, it's so easy to make and you're just gonna love it. I have some great butternut squash, we've got some tomatoes, I've got zucchini, I've got a special red fire lettuce. We'll have um, two types of onions. I've got a red and a yellow. I've got, of course, a garlic bulb because doesn't everybody love garlic? Um, we do have a dozen of eggs, but you won't need them all. I did pick out a cheese. It is a goat cheese from Goats Are Us. And this is a roasted red pepper goat cheese. So you can kind of use this in place of using actual fresh peppers that you roast, or you can use those that are available in a jar. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and we're gonna get our pan. I'm gonna grab my spray. We'll spray that and we'll get our tart shell underway. At this point, you should be preheating your oven to 350 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give a little spray, go on that side. So I've got my shell. I'm gonna lay it into my tartlet pan. And this is one of those tips you're gonna to wanna to remember for sure. When you lay that in, don't go and cut that top. What you're gonna find is, is it shrinks because of the butter and the shortening inside your shell, okay? So I'm just gonna guide it in, get some of those little crinkles, and we're gonna prick the bottom. That's so it won't bubble up. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Again, 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake this for about 10 minutes. Double check, you wanna make sure it's gonna be golden brown. So let's go ahead and let's slice up our pepper. So I usually like to get that end piece done there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slice up a little bit of that. And these will be sweated out over our stove with some olive oil. So over here, what we're gonna do is I've got some um, olive oil all ready to go. I'm gonna put that in the bottom of my pan. And then we'll take our onions and I'm just gonna break them up just a little bit more. And we'll get them started in there. And just keep moving them around. You're not trying to necessarily cook them, but just wet them out a little bit. And this is what we're looking like here. Okay, and I will go ahead and add in some of our roasted red peppers. Save a little bit of this for the topping to give it the color. And while that's continuing to sweat, why don't we go ahead and start our egg mixture. This is kind of like a quiche, so you're gonna need your eggs as your binder, and that, um, we'll use three of those eggs. I went with um, eggs from Island Farms. They are just gorgeous, and they're brown eggs right there. Large is your size that you want. So let's crack three of those. I'm just going to go ahead, beat my eggs a little bit. I've already got that mixed in right there. Okay. And at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in my salt and pepper. If you need that recipe, it's gonna be in the video for you. I have everything pre-measured out. And 
and that's all set, that's done, okay? So let's check back in and see where we're at. Our high shell or tart shell is cooking. Um, that should be ready shortly. Remember, just going to a golden brown. This is our roasted red pepper and our onion mixture. That's done, so we can go ahead and turn that off. We'll let that cool a little bit. That will get layered into our tartlet shell. Then we'll go ahead and put on our yogurt and our egg binding mixture, followed up with our goat cheese yogurt with some roasted red pepper. And of course, we'll put that on for color on top with our thyme and bacon. And this is ready to go. It's got a nice golden brown. We're gonna leave that oven on right now. And then what we'll do is that um, once we've assembled everything, we'll pop it back in to bake. Okay, here's our crust right here. Sometimes it will roll down, not a worry. Just roll it back up if it's still a little bit on the soft side while it's baking. So we now have right here our pepper and our onions together. I'm gonna to go ahead and pop those in there. And I'm just gonna put it all around. And that's our flavor right there, okay? So what we'll do is we'll use that, get that all in there. Now you're gonna take your egg mixture that you had, and that was your three eggs your yogurt, which was the Greek yogurt, or we said you could use regular plain yogurt. Okay, we're gonna pour that in. Get that all in there. Okay. Open up your goat cheese right here, pack it. And you're gonna scoop a little bit. I'm just gonna drop it in by tablespoons. It's gonna look beautiful. This is goat cheese from Goats Are Us. It's a roasted red pepper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my roasted red peppers that I had and I'm just gonna put them and lay them in on top. And I like to do like a little pattern of the time. And you want the stems that are not so wooded, okay? So I try to go for something a little bit higher up you could also chop your thyme if you like, but it's merely for that color and that presentation. Look how beautiful that is. It's all set to go. So let's bake this now. Let's start it out at 350 for 30 minutes. We'll be checking on it. That goat cheese is gonna melt in. It's gonna be gorgeous, okay? In the interim, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare a salad so that when we have our dinner this evening, we'll have a nice fresh garden salad, perfect from everybody on our RVA Ag Co-op. We're gonna do some of the lettuce, we'll do some red onion, tomato, and we'll probably put a couple of bits of our um, roasted red pepper on too. Okay, so our tart shell has been in for about 30 minutes. Let's check it. The color looks great. Everything looks beautiful. And now what we're gonna do when I bring this over, we're gonna test it by inserting a knife to see if it comes out clean. If it does, then we'll go ahead and let it cool. And 
It's coming out clean. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit longer just so that it firms up. This is going to be the red fire lettuce. And now I'm just gonna give it just a little quick chop. I'm gonna place it in my bowl. We're gonna add some of our tomato. Sure do miss the summertime when the tomatoes are just so overflowing. They're deep red, so many different options, but I'm so glad that I can get these on our co-op. Add some of those in there. And let me grab my red right here. Just do a couple of those little peppers. And then we'll grab the red onion. Look how pretty that color is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, for my dressing, what I did is I pulled some olive oil. You can get that from one of the vendors as well. The olive oil is a nice, um, deep, rich color there. I went with an apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna add some of that in. And I have a little bit of my garlic. So we're gonna add in some garlic into the dressing right there. And we're just gonna give it a quick little whisk. And then what you'll do is right before you're gonna serve the salad, you'll add your dressing onto your salad, give it a quick toss, and then plate. Now, the best part about the salad dressing is you can go ahead and add an acid, such as a fresh squeezed lemon um, into your salad dressing, and it'll just brighten it up just a little bit more. So we have our tartlet, and your tart is gonna be right here. It's cooling now. Let it cool a little bit longer, and then go ahead and plate. This is such a great dinner. I hope you enjoy it.